Today we're going to talk about how to install the Kurt Custom Wiring Harness uh, for a tow package on your P2 XC90. This might apply to other P2 cars like a S60 V70 or whatever. Um, comes with instructions. Um, I'm just going to do a super quick video on how to do it because instructions suck. First thing of note is the four pin connector that's going to go to your trailer. It doesn't actually root through the chassis. It just comes out here. And uh, maybe everybody else knew that at home. So what I did to get this installed is I took the black box, which comes with the electronics, put it through here, and uh, along with the cables and dropped it in. Next I ran the T, the yellow T, up to the uh, headlight. Then I took the cables, the remaining cables, of which there's two, the green cable, which goes to the passenger side, and the trailer light cable. So there's a channel to run those cables through right here, just inside the sound insulation at the very back of the trunk of the car in there. So you can run your cables across like that, run the trailer one into the center and just run it outside for now. And just run the passenger side over again into that small hole in the insulation at the very back corner. Run it up into the connection harness. And so that's your cables done. Set up this ground with the self tapping screw that's included. Drill that in there with a screwdriver if you like. Nice and tight. Make sure it's got a tight connection. That's important. And then also the power. You can see that this is a cable that I added this or rather this is the cable that came with the light kit. This is an original cable. One other thing I had to do was in, uh, install the included fuse in this and you can see it just pops in there. It is a 10 amp fuse and probably a good idea to get a spare 10 amp fuse if you need it. The other thing um, which I haven't done yet but the kit comes with double-sided tape to attach this box to uh, the bodywork or anywhere else solid just to stop it flapping around. In the end, it didn't take very long. Uh, once I figured out what needed to be done, uh, as I say, the instructions were ridiculous. So one thing that happened to me, and it might be a bit of a QC issue, is uh, this connector here used to have a red wire going into it. And, uh, you know, pretty much once I connected it, the wire came straight out. Uh, if that happened while you were driving you would lose your trailer lights I think and that would be bad so you can see that it was crimped but I guess it wasn't crimped sufficiently and um, the wire the amount of wire that was protruding in there is pretty short so long story short um, it did come with a spare connector so I just went ahead and extended the wire a little bit exposed it more and recrimped it and uh, the other thing that I'm not too super impressed with is the size of the hole in a spade, it's quite a bit larger than what is in the fuse panel and you know this is maybe a bit of a nitpick but it's just one of those things that would be nice if uh, if it was an appropriate size um, or a closer size a closer match to what's in there 